So I just want to take a quick minute and show you. I've kind of downsized my collection. The only belts I have left are the Gucci, Louis, um, Garvani, and uh, so two Gucci and Louis. And I even forget what's this brand called. I remember I had to have this belt. And I don't even know what this brand is called. I feel like Wonder Woman when I wear it. I might sell it. But yeah, like these are all my SLGs. Look, I hardly have any. It's all I have. I have, hold on. I have this Chanel, this one, which I paid a million dollars for. Actually, I paid a million. Look, I paid like a thousand for this. I don't know what I was thinking. And my husband, he's like, why does it still have the plastic on it? This is new. I was like, no, I just kept the plastic on. This one's really good because it can hold the phone. Bum bag, navy mini flap white 19 Chanel pouch and um that's Chanel so my collection is pretty small <clears throat> a few pouches here you know the Louis and the Gucci Ophelia this is a new little thing I got I just like I've been really into neutrals like my whole life but I just wanted to pop a color I got that from Zara the other day the other day I went and bought my daughter a bunch of school clothes and I only bought myself one thing but yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little lip topper right now. So let me feed the baby and then we're gonna do a little tiny lip topper. Hey guys, so the Skin Silk, it differs from the Ceramide Gel Cream because it has retinoic acid, alpha arbutin, centella asiatica, oatmeal extract all in a silicone suspension now the silicone suspension is similar to a gel cream however it's a little more slick a little more smooth a little bit more glossy now here's an example of what it looks like i'm going to show you right here the ceramide gel cream looks similar but the formulation is completely different has different ingredients i definitely recommend both for a brighter more even flawless skin tone Hey guys, so the Skin Silk, it differs from the Ceramide Gel Cream because it has retinoic acid, alpha arbutin, centella asiatica, oatmeal extract, all in a silicone suspension. Now the silicone suspension is similar to a gel cream. However, it's a little more slick, a little more smooth, a little bit more glossy. Now here's an example of what it looks like. I'm going to show you right here the Ceramide Gel Cream looks similar, but the formulation is completely different, has different ingredients. I definitely recommend both for a brighter, more even, flawless skin tone. Oh my God, guys. So I'm just sitting here taking a bath and I um, don't mind that basket. That's just like a toy basket for my son. Um, yeah, but it actually serves it. I got... I got it at Daiso a long time ago, and it actually works. It's like water resistant. It's like that oil slick vinyl. But anyways, so I'm super pumped up about my skin silk. I was going to see. I have, I have three products slated for my new packaging, which I had custom made. I had about like three thousand bottles. So I hope you guys can support me in turning over some of my um, my um, stock my my things that I create but I really was going to release the kombucha um like toner but tea essence but I don't have the formulation right and I reached out to like big consulting firms not big but like people that do consulting work I guess you pay pay them by the project and they give you input and no one's reached out to no one's um, gotten back to me the one person that got back to me was like Hmm, a lot of those great ingredients you cannot buy over the counter, so I can't really consult. And the other two people didn't even, it's like crickets, they haven't responded. Because it's a really interesting formulation, because there's like kombucha tea, but as soon as you open it, all this white foam appears, and you get this milky emulsion at the top, and it like separates in such a cool way, and then when you shake it, it blends in a cool way. I thought I had the formulation down, but I didn't, because I waited a few days, and it kind of got too thick at the top, so it's not right. So sorry to like share and spill the tea, no pun intended, before I'm ready to really release it. It just it just wasn't right. But yeah, so um, all my products have a lot of active ingredients. 
And so you may notice that you get like some peeling skin in certain areas, maybe like under the nose or on the forehead or above the eyebrows. And so what I like to do like a couple times a week is I go in and I exfoliate with my um, Brighten and Buff. And I use this little um, spoon. And I have spoons coming, which I can offer, but right now the spoons are still on the way. And then I mix it with like just a little bit of water and I, um, I scrub my face. So I'm gonna do that and watch some YouTube videos and come back in a little while. So I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I have my pretty teacups and I'm drinking that toasted rice tea. I forget what it's called. So this is like the second wine box gift that I got for the year. Actually, my husband got it, it's super cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, okay, let's see what's in this basket. There are a trio of olive oils, high quality or extra virgin olive oil, some hot, all these are really gonna go on the bar cart. These look promising. Milk chocolate seahorses, red wine. Last night it was a red wine from, I think it's called Deacon Houdini, Napa Valley, bruschettas, some Cabernet wine biscuits, ooh, Italian chocolate, Godiva, fig biscuits with cream, cherry biscuits with cream filling. Ooh, this is the upgraded version because I've given these before, but. This one has a lot of stuff. Sticky toffee, wafer crackers, some white wine, more. This is a Merlot and this is a Cabernet. Crackers, cranberries, olives, which are super good, and more crackers, and more crackers. I thought I, thought I saw something. I thought I saw some Linzer truffles, which are my favorite. Let me see. Um, I guess there aren't any. I don't know why I thought I saw those. Must have been tripping. Oh, right here. Yummy, jackpot. So I'm gonna arrange these in the bar cart right so now. So I can't really decorate my bar cart that nicely because of the baby, but I just did put some of the snacks, like the artichokes, the olives, the crackers, everything in there. Put some of the chocolate bits in here and then the wine. So there was one more, but I drank it already. But um, I think tonight, my husband doesn't drink. I'm really the only one. I'm gonna have a little bit of the uh, Merlot. Frame a bunch of diplomas and stuff because I am gonna transfer into a different office and I wanna have some things framed, like especially this. Okay, since I'm gonna change offices tomorrow, I'm gonna hang up some of my certificates like confined space training, OSHA 30. How come this doesn't say OSHA, th oh, OSHA 30. Now this one was super hard to get, OSHA 30. Um, what does this one say? Electrical standards and safety in the workplace. And this is from DPH when I used to do social work. And then we're gonna have my diploma. Where's my diploma? Okay, Hold on. since I'm gonna change offices tomorrow, I'm gonna hang up some of my certificates like confined space training, OSHA 30. How come this doesn't say OSHA, th oh, OSHA 30. Now this one was super hard to get. OSHA 30. Um, what does this one say? electrical standards and safety in the workplace. And this is from DPH when I used to do social work. And then we're gonna have my diploma. Where's my diploma? Hold on. So this is my old little office, right? And I'm gonna show you where my new one is. Where's the baby? Here, so I figured this one is better. Just gonna move my computers and stuff, hang up all my certificates, and this is my new space. Right? Right. I hate us anyway. Hey. 
So this is how I organized. I put my certificates, my college degree, OSHA, then I put that, I dropped it, but it says mom. Then I put the little shelf right there, my desk like this, the two screens, my little shelf, and that's it. So that's better. Bye. Okay, this is a quick lip topper. I've already wiped my lips with alcohol. Now this is very controversial, but the reason why I like doing my own lips is because I can just do small bits at a time. Now when I used to go to the plastic surgeon, dermatologist to get it done, I would pay like $700. They would feel compelled to use the whole um, amount. So I wouldn't waste any money, you know? But it's like, that's that was too much. That's why I would get duck lips. So I'm just gonna do a little topper where I think I need it. Okay, so since I've had it, I've only used from about here to there. So I'm just gonna do a little on the bottom. It's looking about even, but I feel like this side needs a little more. Let me go get a little alcohol on my lips. Hold on. Okay, so I've lost 16 pounds with the Sixenda, but it does, I swear it puts me in a bad mood. It makes me a little evil. I think it does, but it's worth it. Like, mm -hmm. because you you have bits of nausea here and there, but when mm -hmm. it comes time to eat, you look at it like a job as opposed to like an addiction or a drug. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you eat, like for example, you eat your whole, you eat your sandwich, you're good. Mm -hmm. Usually I would have to have a sandwich, chips buy the muffins super juice i could barely finish my whole sandwich now it does kind of wear off so after a while you have to increase the dose but um no i don't plan on being it for years i just want to lose like maybe five more pounds because i was 177 when i started i'm 161 so i think if I, i'm if i'm between 155 and 160 i'm good because that's like my pre eight baby weight i just want to get to the size i was before before i had my last baby but um, now you know you can't get it without prescription. Maybe your doctor can prescribe it for you. It'd be a lot cheaper. Because I spend about $100 every 21 days on one pen. So it does add up. I've spent like $300 so far. So it adds up. So if you get your insurance cover carrier to cover it, it'd be great. But for me, I can't. My doctor, I can barely squeeze, squeeze anything out of my doctor. Actually, no, I take that back. My dermatologist is pretty good. But I don't want them to think I'm just like med searching you know so i don't even bother i just get it from korea i get a lot of things from korea like i get my lip fillers my botox i get everything from over there and i cut corners where i can and i splurge where i can i'm not advocating everyone do it but i'm just sharing my story and what's helped me and it's this ascenda oh and my skincare products nah <laughs> i'm never like i never like hype my own products up that much but i think out of everything that i've sold out of the past years i think that my skincare products are the bomb okay so i'm gonna use this tea set which i got in a state sale i got a bunch of different sets and they're all different i have some toasted rice tea and then i made some rice pudding now when i make my rice pudding i use cardamom and star anise and cinnamon. And what I do is I put the butter in the saucepan, melt it, add the brown sugar, make a caramel sauce, add the evaporated milk, then I add the cooked rice and cinnamon. And I just cook it and it is so delicious. And I have jasmine rice. I'm gonna have a little bit of that as a snack and hold on. Thank you. 
Okay, ladies, it may seem strange that I'm pigging out after I talk about dieting, but really I didn't have that much rice pudding and I'm enjoying it with my toasted rice tea. I got these at the estate sale. I love this one. And yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna enjoy my rice pudding and I'll see you.